Hey everybody, I'm Zach and welcome to my workshop. This week we are going to be doing a, uh, I'm going to call it a repairish uh, on a stainless steel uh, product pump. Uh, now this would go in a food production plant. Uh, would, it's a centrifugal pump. It's going to move, you know, whatever. Whatever liquid from one area to another. This is the backing plate. So you would have an electric motor that would sit back here. You've got an impeller that sits on this side of the, uh, the pump seal here, and then you've got an impeller housing that sits out here. Uh, and then on the back side of this is a seal that mates up against the back side of this plate. And I'm gonna let you zoom in here and see. This has been repaired before, and it is obviously a very ugly repair. So what they ended up doing was buying a washer off uh, McMaster car and then just stick welding it on there. So. Anytime you weld on one side of a fairly thin piece of plate like this that is machined, I'm gonna get, you can probably guess what's gonna happen here. Uh, it's gonna warp it. Now, especially with stainless steel, uh, it will pull really, really bad. So like the stick weld they made on the back side of this, as that weld cools, it will pull this whole part and kind of curl it like a potato chip. So I've got a big machined plate here. This is a you know four inch thick piece of gray cast iron that's machined and polished. I'm gonna let you uh, hear it here as I press on different sides of this. So basically it has warped that part into a uh, convex, concave, whatever, you, whatever perspective you're looking at it from shape. Uh, Anyway, new part is on order, new part is back ordered, uh, so we're gonna try and make this thing work. All right, the welder we're gonna be using today is the Miller Dynasty 210. This happens to be the 210DX with a uh, water cooler here. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to set that up. We're gonna use DC since it's stainless steel, which it's already set for. We're gonna go ahead and use high frequency uh, start. We're gonna go ahead and have it on standard just with a foot pedal. We're gonna turn the pulse feature off. And then, oh yeah, your upslope and downslope is if you are using a torch switch. And we'll just leave the preflow at uh, 0.4. I usually run 0 0.4, 0 0.5, something like that. For stainless steel, we'll leave that on automatic, which is kind of nice. It varies depending on the current you're using. And we're running 127 amps. All right, so I am not gonna try and put a whole lot of heat into this part. I'm just going to try and wash this where it's a little more sanitary. I'm running 120 amps on the machine. I've got about a quarter of the pedal pushed down. I'm running a uh, FUPA BBW cup, which is about a number 16 cup, mainly just so you guys have a little bit better view here. And uh, we're running Argon at about, I think, uh, 40 CFH just to run this big cup. Oh my God, that stinks. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use the Kearney Tracker mill here to mill uh, the face of that washer off. Uh, mainly just because it already had a nice big Sandvik face mill mounted in it already. Uh, and as rigid as this machine is, it should give me a really nice surface finish.
All right, so as you can see there, we've got a gorgeous surface finish, but we still have a little bit of a chamfer left there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take another pass. go ahead and make another pass on this guy here. So I'm not taking off a whole lot. I'm just taking off maybe five or ten thou at the absolute most. This looks like a little bit thicker cut, so maybe ten thou. My one complaint about a big face mill like this is it makes one hell of a big mess. All that, all those chips will be all over the shop floor. Oh yeah, that came out beautiful. All right, we're definitely polishing some poop here, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that surface finish. I'm gonna go ahead, polish out this weld and the rest of this uh, part, and we'll call it a day. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More importantly, I hope you got something out of it. This was not really the best way to do this repair. However, you know, when presented with something like this, you gotta make something work for the customer. Uh, this will get them back running until the parts they ordered actually come in. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. Quick and dirty, make it work. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you got something out of it. I'm Darlington Farm, thank you for watching.